This screencast is going to show you how to add an email subscription form to your Google site using FeedBurner so that any of your users uh, that visit your site frequently will receive automated email updates every time you update the site. Uh, here's my site, home at icrt.com. Under Connect, you can see I have a subscribe button. If users click on that subscribe button, they can put in their email address, click subscribe. Once they enter this capture code and complete their subscription, anytime I update the site, they will get an email that says that the site has been updated. And the good thing about this is if I update the site four times in one day, uh, people who subscribe only get one email with all four updates. So they're not going to get an email every single time the site is updated. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now to insert this HTML, you're going to have to use uh, feedburner.com in order to get this to work. Uh, I'm in the process now of setting up a Google Apps account for Henrico County Public Schools. And in order for it to work, you need to have the announcement template set up on your Google site. So if I click here where it says latest news and updates, you can see I have an announcement template that I set up because I have my subscribe to post feature. I also have this new post button. Now, if you don't have your announcement template set up on your Google site for one of your pages, you can do that by clicking on more, change page template, and then selecting announcements from this drop down menu. By default, it's going to say web page. You're going to select announcements and click change. But I've already set that up as an announcement. Once again, I know that because I've subscribed to post and I have a new post. So let's go ahead and go to feedburner.com. F E E D B U R N E R.com. You're going to want to set up an account if you haven't done so already. And once you set up that account, it's going to give you the option to burn a feed right this instant. So I'm going to go back to my blog here, click on subscribe to post. It's going to give you this weird looking gobbledygook, but all we care about is the URL on the top. So I'm going to copy that, go back to FeedBurner, and paste it where it says burn a feed right now. Now Google Sites goes by HTTPS. Um, FeedBurner has issues with that. So delete the S and just have HTTP or else it won't work. Then click Next. It then wants to give it wants a feed title. So we'll call this HCPS GAF website. And then the feed address is going to be feeds.feedburner.com backslash whatever you want it to be. So we'll call it HCPS GAF. Click Next. It says, Congrats, your feed burner feed is now live. Do you want to dress it up a little? I don't care. So I'm going to click Next. I'm going to click Next. There we go. So now, if I go to my actual feed, by clicking on that little RSS icon, I've got nothing there right now. It's just blank because I haven't posted anything. But once I start to post things, it's going to come into this page. But we can close that out for now. And I want to click on where it says Publicize. Publicize. And we've got the email subscription feature. So I'm going to click there. By default, it's not activated, so I'm going to click Activate. And that is where I'm going to get my code in order to insert this onto my site. So you can see right here, I've got different options to insert it. I've got a preview subscription link. What you want to do is copy the form style right here. So copy all that. Right click copy, go back to your original blog, you're going to click on the pencil icon, click on my HTML snippet, then paste that right there, click update, click save, and you can see right now people just have to enter their email address and click on subscribe in order to get those email updates.